Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is I, the Suited Gamer Guy, bringing you a brand new Let's Play of an 8 bit horror game called Blank Dream. Um, this is a pretty new uh, horror game using the RPG Maker system. It's free, you can download it for free. Um, and I've been hearing good things about it. I started like five minutes of it, it seemed interesting. I thought, hey, I'll make a Let's Play. So here we go, gonna start a brand new one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, speaking of Let's Plays, my bro Ooh, okay, let's go into it. Uh, thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. And so I, Mishiro Yusu, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. It's, pro it's probably Yusui, I'm guessing. So this, uh, this game deals with suicide, I believe. Like, it's got some dark themes. Dot, dot, dot. Where is this? What was I just... Right, as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. And this girl has a guy's voice for me. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Alrighty, so... So yeah, I've got like two save files here, because I was playing before. Played for like five minutes. Gonna overwrite that. Now... Hopefully... Now, thankfully, there doesn't seem to be any noticeable video tearing, because before, when I played on full screen, there was a ton of video tearing, it was terrible. The mirror shows no reflection. Oh shit, spooky. Ah! I knew that was gonna happen too. The girl sees herself in the mirror. Let's talk to the mirror! Guys, we have... You know, there, there are certain sounds that creep me out. That's one of them. Question mark, indeed! I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories, right? Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now, look into the eyes of your reflection. Okay, let's do that. Nothing wrong will possibly happen. Uh... Ooh. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Ah, yes, my room! Uh, speaking of Let's Plays... Uh, oh wait, the closet is packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt that she'd like to wear clothes like this. Goth! Emo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, really. A familiar computer. The girl unconsciously went to power it on, but stopped. Oh, that happens a bunch of times. Ooh, nice music. The cabinet is full of accessories. The girl felt that they all match her taste. Well, what kind of accessories? The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. Don't we all get an unconscious urge to sleep in our bed? The teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that this bear was very important to her. Why? It's just a bloody teddy bear. It's a pretty big teddy bear, not gonna lie. A familiar dresser. The girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. Oh, it never is really. Is it? I don't know. A school bag rests on the desk. The girl took out a notebook from it. Kikonomiya Academy Class 1-2, Mishiru Usiyui. Her picture is on the cover. Ooh! A small knife is in the desk drawer. It felt familiar in the girl's hands. The girl got a knife. Well! Let's get out of here. Well, it won't open. Well, I guess our only cause is to use this knife. Stab the knife into yourself. Well, shit! Okay! The girl plunged the knife into her throat. Oh, fuck it now. Ah, oh, sound effects. So yeah, this game deals with suicide. Oh. Which I think is a pretty, uh, good dark theme to go with. Ooh, the mirror's cracked. Oh no. Dot, 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 exclamation point. The girl came too. Again, standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a, vi a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back. How did it feel killing yourself in the mirror? What's with that look? You've got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. Ha! Huh? Uh. 
Mishiru Yusui, sixteen. I drowned myself in the lake. See, only partial. But you remembered, remembered your name, and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world, and then break them. All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors? You'll get back your memories. At the same time, grant your wish. Once you break all your mirrors, you'll have it all back and can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what's granting your wish entails. Why is that, you ask? Remember what that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. Oh, I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To take it so my life never even existed. Ooh! It's pretty dark stuff. Just as Mishiru regained a place of her memory, and she felt as if she'd lost something important. So, I'm what I'm guessing is that the, the basic of the aim of the game is you go around finding mirrors and you go into different situations and kill yourself. Uh, so yeah, that's some pretty dark shit right there. Yeah! I'm into this background music. Dun, 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 dun. Where is this? Huh? Are you new here, maybe? Mo, I picked one heck of a moment to be here! Uh... Well, I shouldn't suspect someone who just came up to me, so let's... Who are you? Oh, sorry, sorry! Here I am, sitting all excited. So, as you can tell, he's a British chap. To me. You just came to this world, right? So, I bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. I'm Mishiru. Oh, that's very polite of... Wait! You know your name? That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember my name. Who cares about you? Nah. Uh, should be a bit nicer to people around me. Don't know what uh, bad shit crazy stuff could happen. And this audio is very loud. Where is this? This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and, after and the afterlife, maybe. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes. But the weird thing is, while I remember having died of some strong wish, I can't actually remember that wish. You have any idea, Mishiru? Uh, sucks to be you. Ah, oh, shouldn't be me. I remember my wish. What? You remember your wish? And you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiru. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair even in death. Well, anyway. If you're going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here, because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. Thanks, Yuzi? Yukuzi? I'm Yuzu! I'm Yuzu! I'm Yuzu! Let's save! So, I'm just gonna save here in case this convers that conversation dictates the entire rest of the story. I don't know if there's multiple endings or what, so what. So, we got a bunch of doors here. We've got Realm of Beauty, for whom does not the brush dance. Another locked door here. Uh, Realm of Spirits, of the Wind, Sounds, Tragedies, End and Beginning. So there's a bunch of rooms, and each of them are a different topic kind of thing. So my guess is we go through all of them. Uh, and this is basically where I left off when I first played. Uh, so this is exciting. Uh, speaking of Let's Plays, I just want to quickly talk about uh, the, Let's, the current Let's Play I have going on, which was Corpse Party and Katawa Shoujo. So far, both of those are not going to happen. Uh, Katawa Shoujo is pretty much cancelled. I don't think it's actually that fun to do a visual novel Let's Play. Uh, unless people really want that, but like, it's, it's pretty tough. Especially if I'm voice acting all of it. And, um... Uh, course play, that's just on hiatus. Like, I will eventually get to it, but, like, because I have course play blood drive, I just had to finish it myself before course play blood drive came here, so I actually finished that and Book of Shadows, like, pretty quickly, and then I, I'm playing Call blood drive right now, but I'll eventually get to replaying course play and finishing that let's play. But in any case, let's get to this, this, uh, blank dream. Oh, pretty, uh, pretty spooky. Got some decorative axes on display. Take one! No, thanks! Digger of shield on display. Digger of swords on display. And then these random pillars. Alright, do we take one of these? I don't feel safe taking one of those. Oh shit. 
Well, well, you know what? Let's save and see whether those axes are good or not. Let's take one. Mishri and Faster Legend took a fake axe. Mishri got a decorative axe. All right. Oh fuck! God damn it! Shield. Oh, it's blood. Shield smashed. What the hell? Some shield is on their period. Well, that did scare me though. Spooky game. Oh, it's pretty dark. So let's just uh, save again, maybe? Should we? Uh, save again. Yep. So let's go up because up is good. Oh, another door. Nope, don't like it. Very spooky hallway. Oh, Sorinica. Oh, more doors. I. Oh god. Yay! I actually really love it when freaking doors are locked in horror games, because that means less progression. <laughs> oh, that's over here. Oh, another f fucking. Nope! Every room looks spooky. I don't want spooky. Oh, shit, no! Oh, okay. A dead tree. Uh, no, not the knife. Uh, decorative axe will do. Blaze Dent did not fit to use. Dull decorative axe can't even make a cut. Well, okay, that's expected. So we're gonna have to probably get use that decorative axe to get a real axe or something, or maybe sharpen it. A large tree blocks the path. There seems to be no other way around. Let's use the decorative. Oh, can't cut it. Okay. So up or down? Up, down, up, down. Ah, uh, let's go up for now. No, wait, down because up has a locked door, so that might be better for later. Alrighty then, let's go through here. This wooden floor. It's all god. Oh, that's a teddy bear. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Alrighty then, let's go get this teddy bear. Come on, teddy bear. Come on, come on, come on. Teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. Oh, kawaii! <laughs> I joke, I joke. Don't, don't hate me. <laughs> uh, so how are you guys going? Uh, if you don't know, I recently uh, got Corpse Party Blood Drive, as I was just talking about. I uh, got the pre-order for that, and uh, so far I finished Chapter Zero. So far, pretty fucking solid game. Loving the gameplay, loving the story, loving the characters. So far, nothing uh, too much has happened. It's just Chapter Zero, but it's been pretty smooth. And uh, the only issue I have really much is the amount of loading screens and the frame rate when you use your flashlight. Okay. Anyway, back to this game. A weak flame flickers in the lantern. Uh, let's not take it just yet. The fireplace quietly lights up the room. Well, you know what? Something tells me as soon as I take this, there's going to be no light, so let's take the lantern. Carefully remove the lantern. Oh, we got a lantern. Oh, that's all good. That must quickly lights them up. Okay, something tells me... Mishri heard the fireplace go out. The room was swallowed by darkness. Oh, no. Fireplace went out. Let's do that. see inside. That's terrible! You know what's going to happen? Wait, what's the point of this? Oh, I got the lantern, I guess that's the point. Now I'm probably gonna have to get chased around by something, because it's like a maze. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a handprint. No! Oh, shit! More blood. I hope I don't... Right, oh, shit. Another handprint. I hope I don't run into anyone. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, sh Fuck you! Oh, that gave me a heart attack! Shit, what's that? Where's that coming from? Fuck that, let's go this way. Shit, fuck. Shit. Nope. Um. Um. Oh, thank fucking Christ. Alright, we're back out of here, that's all good. Let's light it up. It could just go out from flames. Alright, this is not what we want to do. Uh, well, I guess we can get rid of the tree now. The land's flame could burn it down, but the fire is weak and it made it- Oh, damn it! Alright then, uh, let's save. Uh, pretty sure I can save over that, that's good. So let's go to the upper floor. So far this game seems pretty spooky, I'm liking it. It's pretty good. Uh, oh fuck, what's this? The Watchman is a fool who can only judge by a number. Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? Ooh. What does that mean? Spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh, he 
he's gonna fucking kill me, isn't he? Well, guys, I'm probably gonna die here. Stones actually quietly looms. Alrighty, I'm gonna die here. Box is full of axes for cutting tree. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm gonna die here. Make sure you reach in the box and took an axe. Go an axe. Run. He's got red eyes. Okay. Go 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 No. What have I fucking done? What have I fucking done? No. The watchman's job is to kill thieves. No, I missed the door. What's wrong with me? Run! No! Fuck! Oh, I missed the door! Dead end. Okay. Let's continue. God damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. But, you know, like, I missed the door. So, that's not too hard. Okay. Let's keep going. I've got, my, I've got my alarm on to tell me when to stop recording. Got about 14 minutes left, so... Let's try it again, but not miss the door. Box full axes. Take one. Make sure you reach in the box and two... Wait! No! I know! The guy doesn't, uh, uh, can't tell a fake from real, so put in the decorative axe. Put it in. Woo! Didn't fucking see that shit coming, did you? Did you? Mate. Uh, Meteru. Uh, I'm hoping my headset is still. Well, of course, it's still on. I can hear audio. My headset weirdly d keeps disconnecting from my computer, and then like it just like won't work. And then my computer says, "Hey, it's being used by a different device." I fucking hate it. Well, let's cut down the thing. Mystery tumbled the mystery fumbled with the axe in an attempt to to get the, the, the tree. Alrighty. What happened? Don't tell me it was like the tree of my life. I got firewood. The axe broke, rendering it... F well... Well, the tree's bleeding. Uh... Oh! God damn it, this game's pretty spooky. It's being so spooky. Well, let's save. Well, I guess now we can use the firewood. And a lot of tree. Yeah. Use the lantern. Could bet... Uh, Use the firewood, place the firewood by a tree and lit it with a lantern. Yeah! Alrighty, guys. We're going places. We are succeeding in life. The tree burned fiercely. Woo! The tree was burned to ashes. Heck yeah! We're the best around! Alrighty then. So guys, Christmas is coming up. What are y'all getting for Christmas? Me personally, I'm planning to get a whole bunch of Blu-rays, a whole bunch of uh, figures. I might get a game or two. It's also my birthday coming up. Uh, my birthday is in on New Year's Day, and so I got I can get a whole bunch more stuff. Ooh, a mirror. All right, the mirror shows me Shuru's reflection. Look in. I guess we can end this part, like, when I finish this. Six months ago, Mirror Lake. Ooh, okay. Ah, what a nice river. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed, more or less. Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumour. Mirror Lake. A lake in a desolate park, but a 20 minute train ride from home. There was an old rumour about it. It was said, hey, nice weather, huh? Dot dot dot. I'm talking to you. Uh, no one else here, is there? Who would, who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. Uh, but I noticed you're staring at the lake with that hollow look. Uh, there's always a chance, so uh, I thought I should call it out to you. That's unnecessary. Uh, I'm not going to jump in or anything. Uh, that's good to hear. Uh, but there's a strange rumor about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife, you see. Myself, I just see it being true to its name. Reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. 
dot dot dot. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm going to I'm going on talking to you mate, to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I uh, I should mention I'm Ayato Hinohara. I came to paint the park today. Uh, I'm not trying anything. Trying to, just trying to flirt. Just trying to flirt. Many you are trying to flirt. <laughs> oh, this guy's pretty fucking smooth. Take notes, fellas. Why tell me your name? Are you flirting? I just said um. You just said you were not just flirting, mate. Fucking this guy is pretty sneaky. Introductions are our first step to breaking down barriers. Dot dot dot. So, what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, time to fucking paint. <laughs> so he actually did come to paint. You're a spy for one, huh? Did you think I was carrying the clunky easel for show? <laughs> Not really. Oh well, if you're not here for suicide, just stick around for a bit. I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Dot dot dot. Any, t any item which Mishu has in the present, she does not have in the past, and thus cannot use. In fact, mate, can I fucking like just, you know, paint you blah, because you know, like, I'm flirting like that. So, alright, so we've got this random guy instantly talking to me about don't kill yourself. I have a bit of connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. <laughs> wow, this guy's fucking poetic. I got his canvas. There's nothing on it yet. Thank Christ I'm not doing a girl voice for the main character. Because I can do girl voices. Uh, they all just sound the same and hurt my throat the most. Rental boats. It's just a sign, Mishu occasionally saw people on boats. In fact, I actually tried to record a Crooked Man Let's Play, but because there were so many female characters and, like, I chose voices poorly, my throat hurt so much that it just wasn't fun. Plus, the game wasn't that great. Edo is focused on his, on his painting and isn't looking. No, don't jump in! Not yet. We have to go to the boats. Oh, okay, we just kill ourselves then. Well, isn't that dark? Is this how we really died? Just going in the lake? Well, Aito's focus on his painting and, is looking at me and isn't looking at me. Surely, let's jump in. I'll sure it'll surely be painful. Jump in. Mishu threw herself into Mirror Lake. Oh, that's just, that's just, that's just really... Oh, man. Suicide! It's all the, all the fun. We, we're done, right? Yay! What do we remember then? Dot dot dot. Mishu came too, again standing before the mirror. There she still felt lake water in her nose. Her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yes, I met Hayato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little bit more about myself. Well, what about stabbing yourself from before? Did that happen? Just as Mishu regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Ooh, what, did, what do I keep losing? Hey, what's this? Mishiru got a bronze key! Uh... How much time do I have left? Let's see. Ah! Uh, got about six minutes. Uh... Oh, I can- oh, FUCK! What the fuck?! <laughs> okay, uh, well, you know, I kinda have to go all the way back there. Um, so, alright, see you in a sec. Well, I'm back. It took me a couple of seconds, but I'm back to where we were. So, what the fuck did I, did j just attacked me? It was a giant tree monster or something. The mirror has shattered. Okay, where the fuck do I go now? Alrighty, let's take this slowly, I guess. Um, I'm ready to just run back. Fuck, that's terrifying! Look at that sh- Fuck, oh, is it still there now? I'm ready to run back. 
Oh, okay, it's gone. Okay. Okay, guys. So, let's go into this bronze room. Unlock the door with the bronze key. Adventure awaits! Well, I got five minutes left, so I'm not sure where I should end, I should, where I should end this. I don't know if I should just keep going, or... Iron bars jut out the ground. It seems impossible to climb over. Well! Fuck! That's just the best fucking sign ever. Well, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's end it here, guys! So, those the, that's the first mirror for um, the game Blank Dream. Seems so far, I'm really liking it. I think it's pretty spooky. I'm liking the themes. I'm liking how it's working. Probably, yeah, it seems really, um, really good. And I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. I'm enjoying it. It seems like a whole bunch of fun. I don't know what's going to go happen. Uh, so this is all good and fun. Please, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to comment down below about what you want to talk about. And don't forget to subscribe either. I'll be continuing to upload these parts, hopefully. And let's hope I can actually finish a Let's Play for the first time. Woo! Because I'm the man who doesn't finish things. Okay, guys. See you later.